Forward to Love and Longing. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Larry Wilson. Love and Longing by Philip Max Raskin. Forward. A volume of poems requires no preface. And yet, if the reader can never be told how poems are written, why should he sometimes not be told under what conditions they are written? English is not my native language, nor even the language of my early youth. When landing in London some twenty years ago, a boy of nineteen, I knew Hebrew, Yiddish, Russian, German, and French, but not a word of English. In some of those languages I, at the time, already wrote and published poems, but it has always been my desire nay, my ambition, to make English my medium of expression. It was not, however, before 1910 that I attempted my first poem in English. In 1914, my first volume, Songs of a Jew, was published in London. For that volume, Mr. Israel Zangwill, whom I did not know personally, wrote an introduction and found a publisher. I knew that when Mr. Zangwill wrote of these poems that some of them, quote, should have been written by Browning in his particularly lucid moments, unquote, he was probably overkind to me, but I confess that it made me happy. It was the fulfillment of an ambition to overcome the difficulty of language. In November 1915, I came over to the States, and a few months later, the Jewish Publication Society of America published my Songs of a Wanderer, a book which obtained admission to more than 24,000 homes and libraries in the United States. Before leaving England, a London editor wrote me that the muses cannot digest American food, and that my well of inspiration would be dried up in that toward climate of American materialism. I am glad that that prophecy has not come true. Songs and Dreams, the favorite child of my soul, was born in America. I am a child of the wandering race, with my native land, my stepfather, and my native tongue, my stepmother. I found in English a sweet and beautiful sister whom I love, and to whom in my inspired moments I confide my dreams and sing my songs. New York, June 1919. PMR. End of Preface. My Songs by Philip Max Raskin, read for LibriVox.org by Scott McMullen. Though the singer will soon be forgotten, my song will accomplish its goal. For a song that a soul has begotten, forever will live like a soul. For the voice that to sing me has bidden is a power that comes from above, and in these simple sonnets are hidden the gall and the sweetness of love. Not ambition to climb fortune's steeple made me sing, but a power divine. And the woes and the hopes of my people are re-echoed in each simple line. Not of fame nor of gold was I dreaming when playing my God-bidden part. And the song from my heart that is streaming must find a response in a heart. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Old Story by Philip Max Raskin Read for LibriVox.org by Elaine Conway, England This is the story as old as the skies This is the story of mine I met a maid with star-like eyes My heart, how could it not pine? I know it has ever, ever been so I know it will ever be The deer to the forest ever will go to the juicy clover the he the eagle will ever wing high above the wayfarer seek the shade and the heart of a man that is throbbing with love will ever be drawn by a maid so this is my story as old as the earth the soul of my peace and my strife the tale that to joy and to sorrow gives birth the gladdest and saddest of life and of poem this recording is in the public domain.
The First Kiss by Philip Max Raskin Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson How old was I? Well, just eighteen, and she about the same. The skies were gray, the park was green, the moon a pale red flame. We were alone. We sat so close, dead silence in the park. I felt her breath, a perfumed rose, and all around us, dark. Such eyes no human eye had seen, two springs of sparkling bliss. How old was I? Well, just eighteen. She gave me but one kiss. And many years have gone since then of joy and of regret. I lived in love like other men. That kiss, I feel it yet. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Nature and Woman by Philip Max Raskin. Read for LibriVox.org by Scott McMullen. The heavens are blue and the roses are red. I love them when calm is my mood. Her eyes too are blue and her lips too are red. Why set they aflame then my blood? I watch the sun rising, I watch its eclipse, my joy and my sadness are still. Then why should a smile or a pout on her lips so rouse me and stir me and thrill? I gaze at the stars in the firmament far, and calmly enjoy their soft light. Then why should two eyes, and each eye a mere star, so haunt me by day and by night? End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Woman and Sister by Philip Max Raskin Read for LibriVox.org by Scott McMullen I told her that passion was human, embraced her, caressed her, and kissed her. She murmured, Oh no, not as a woman. I want to be loved as your sister. An effort I made superhuman persistently tried to resist her, but she would be loved as a woman, and never as merely a sister. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Love Song by Philip Max Raskin Read for LibriVox.org by Scott McMullen You sent me a love song. I frankly concede it. With you as my love song, I hardly dear need it. For music and beauty, the gifts of the graces, far more than in songs, are in maidens' embraces. My heart too, my dearest, with love songs is laden, but none half so sweet as the kiss of a maiden. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. What is Poetry? by Philip Max Raskin Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson What is Poetry? she asked me, and her soul was deeply stirred as I spoke of dreamy twilight, crooning rill and trilling bird. Poetry, I said, is searching for the great eternal goal. Poetry is heaven's torchlight kindled by the human soul. Poetry is earth reflected in the crystal sea above. Poetry is fadeless beauty, quenchless grace, and deathless love. Poetry is man made angel, earth made heaven, toil made art. Poetry is God's great secret whispered to the poet's heart. As she stood, her eyes enkindled, asking softly, Is it true? I embraced her, and I added, Poetry, my dear, is you. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Winter by Philip Max Raskin. Read for LibriVox.org by Scott McMullen. Mighty is the wintry evening. Mighty, too, I feel. Skies of gold and earth of silver. And the air is steel. With my sweetheart I am driving, where, I do not know. Diamonds twinkle in the heavens, diamonds in the snow. 
Coachmen, drive us faster, faster, through the wintry night, to a spot where men are winters, strong and pure and bright. Closer press to me, my sweetheart, to my bosom cling. Love can blossom in the winter, just as in the spring. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Love Found and Lost by Philip Max Raskin, read for LibriVox.org by Scott McMullen. Two hills and between a velvety green, where breezes caressed each blade heaven blessed, a grove and beyond a silvery pond, reflecting the skies with diamond lit eyes, a fresh eve in May, a world young and gay, a green field below, a blue field above, twas there long ago. I found my first love. A ghetto walled town, a shanty bowed down, half empty a room and shrouded in gloom, a maiden whose life embittered by strife, whose face sad and pale told poverty's tale, a wintry black night, no fuel, no light, an earth deaf below, a sky mute above, twas there long ago I lost my first love. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. June and December by Philip Max Raskin, read for LibriVox.org by Slick. They say the days in June are long and shortest in December. But surely, dear, they must be wrong, for you and I remember... We met in June, we used to roam day long among trees and flowers. And when at night you left for home, how swift had fled the hours. The shortest days were all in June. We saw the sun descending and wished some Josh would stop the sun and make the days unending. But when the sky grew cloud beset and frost our earth invaded, and in December, when we met, our dreams like lilies faded. We met again as friend meets friend. It felt so lone and friendless. The day we did together spend, it seemed so long, so endless. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. To Kate by Philip Max Raskin Read for LibriVox.org by Scott McMullen. Believe me not whenever life is drearest. I say my love has perished long ago. The sea has ebbs. You must not think, though, dearest. It never will again come on the flow. A while is gone. The foaming waves are thronging and rushing onward, onward to the shore. A while is gone. My loving heart is longing. For you, my sweetheart, ever, evermore. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. What are the stars made of? By Philip Max Raskin. Read for LibriVox.org by Elaine Conway, England. My dearest once asked me, Oh, tell me, my love. Oh, of what are the stars made that twinkle above? I kissed her and told her, The stars, darling, are the kisses of lovers. Each kiss is a star. She blushingly whispered, Oh, love, is it true? And why are tonight, then, the stars but so few? End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A False Partner by Philip Max Raskin Read for LibriVox.org by Scott McMullen Love's partnership agreement I signed in haste And all my soul's vast fortune You made me waste You knew your heart was bankrupt Nor pure nor chaste You knew your heart was bankrupt Defrauding mine You spent its priceless treasure Its love divine and now my soul condemns you to pay a fine. My life shall stay forever from yours apart, 
our partnership is ended. But ere we part, take back all checks dishonored of your false heart. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. I Sometimes Wish by Philip Max Raskin Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan I sometimes wish you were a stream And I of dawning day a beam That I might pierce your mute cold heart And life and joy to it impart And make each drop a frisking elf And play with sprites I made myself. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. By a Tree by Philip Max Raskin Read for LibriVox.org by Scott McMullen Know you where I met her? By a tree! Strangers in the forest both were we. Rain poured down and lightning pierced the wood. There we two together sheltered stood. Whilst we mutely listened to each leaf, Telling tales of sylvan joy and grief, Musingly I queried, if a tree does not hide its secrets, why should we? So to her I pointed out a nest, where two wrens were blessed with love and rest. And the leafy branches o'er us bent, canopied us, nodding their ascent. From life's storm a shelter both found we, know you where I met her, by a tree. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Astronomy by Philip Max Raskin Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan We walked by night. She asked me what I knew about the stars. I spoke of comet, planet, moon, of Jupiter and Mars of sun eclipses, orbits, zones, of rainbows in the skies, and all the time I studied but two glowing stars. Her eyes. Of sunset and of sunrise, too, I spoke, but all the while I thought of but one sunrise bright, the sunrise of her smile. The Milky Way I full explained, the galaxies beneath, and looked upon her milk-white throat, her milky row of teeth. And when she pressed herself to me, and brooding looked above, I kissed her lips, her eyes, and said, The stars are worlds of love. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. When Love to You I'd Spoken by Philip Max Raskin Read for LibriVox.org by Elaine Conway, England when love to you I'd spoken, two witnesses were near, a birdling and a streamlet, but you alone could hear. When of your love I'm dreaming, and of your parting kiss, the bird and streamlet hear me, but you alone I miss. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Regret by Philip Max Raskin, read for LibriVox.org by Scott McMullen. 
I wanted you to be the spark that kindles the dreamer's soul aflame, my torch and light whene'er my power dwindles in night or grief or shame. But deep was soon my disillusion, you could not play that part, and pardon me, oh, pardon my intrusion into a stranger's heart. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Like Two Stars by Philip Max Raskin Read for LibriVox.org by Elaine Conway, England Like two stars we were attracted ere we met Like two stars our zone was over, cloud beset Like two stars we deemed each other worlds of gold Like two stars we found each other far and cold End of poem this recording is in the public domain. My Pandora by Philip Max Raskin Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan Do I love her? Do I not? Now again I've met her? Ask me not, I only know. I wish I could forget her. The thought of her gives great delight, And grief and pain still greater. She is my joy, she is my woe. I love her, and I hate her. She is my sunlight and my cloud, my safety and my danger. She is my friend, she is my foe. She is to me a stranger. I know full well I am her slave, and know I am above her. I pray to heaven that I could nor hate her, nor yet love her. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Sweet Death by Philip Max Raskin Read for LibriVox.org by Scott McMullen when Moses the heavenly prophet attained on the earth his life's goal, the angel of death was reluctant to go with his sword for his soul. But smilingly whispered Jehovah, No mortal can death ever miss. If not by the sword of the angel, then perish he must by my kiss. Jehovah, thy lesson was followed by many a goddess since then, who slays not with sword but with kisses, the bravest and purest of men. And oft in the arms of my charmer, midst rapture and heavenly bliss, I know that one day I shall perish, like Moses of old, from her kiss. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Change by Philip Max Raskin, read for LibriVox.org by Scott McMullen. I met her again, and I wondered, oh, can she be truly the same, who once in my soul had enkindled a glowing, a heavenly flame? Are these the eyes all-piercing, that shot dart after dart of love's adoration into my worshipping heart? Are these the lips that compelled me to kiss them again and again, the smile my sad heart greeted like sunshine after rain? Is she the fay who once turned my gloomiest autumn to spring? Is this the woman who erstwhile my soul and by blood taught to sing? Then where is the spell and the magic that made my life joyous and full? And what made the woman beside me so wearisome, homely, and dull? A voice I heard in answer, Thy questions are foolish and strange. Thy heart, if thou carefully searchest, thou soon wilt discover the change. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.
I Did Not Betray by Philip Max Raskin, read for LibriVox.org by Scott McMullen. Should you meet a lonely maiden by a road where breezes moan, pacing to and fro at twilight, seeking someone, finding none? Should she eye you, sadly, mutely, hide her tears and turn away? You must stop her, and must tell her that I could not her betray, that I thought her far too sacred to profane her as my wife, that when all my dreams have vanished, I had saved one dream for life. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Gone by Philip Max Raskin, read for LibriVox.org by Scott McMullen. I came back one evening and found her no more. My room was as cozy, as neat as before. Each thing in position, the books on the shelf, the bed decked with pillows she once laced herself, took nothing of value when she did depart, took nothing of value, excepting my heart. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Like a Linnet by Philip Max Raskin, read for LibriVox.org by Scott McMullen. They blind the linnet that its trill a sweeter note may find, and thus I know it was her will the poet's soul to blind. A flame she kindled in my soul and spent it spark by spark. Again I see in life no goal, again my path is dark. And when of love I sing my song, the sweetest of its kind. The wondrous sounds to her belong, for she my soul made blind. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Too Proud by Philip Max Raskin, read for LibriVox.org by Scott McMullen. Oh, a heart can talk loud, and a heart has an ear, and fair stories, my dear, from my heart thine could hear, had it spoken. But alas, I'm too proud from my path to depart, and no tale from my heart thine will hear, though we part, heart broken. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. We Cannot Part by Philip Max Raskin, read for LibriVox.org by Scott McMullen. You cannot part from me, my dear, my love knows no eclipse. Your oaths are frozen on my ear, your kisses on my lips. I'll be with you, I'll live with you, wherever you may go. And day and night and all life through, you'll feel my pain and woe. Another man you love, and still, my treacherous friend, I claim, your love's embraces never will conceal your treason's shame. Oh no, from me you cannot part, whatever you may plan, you cannot take a man's whole heart and cast away the man. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. To You by Philip Max Raskin Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan Your lightnings of wit used to charm me, Your thunders of wrath were too mild, And if you intended to harm me, you failed in your object, poor child. For you, like a tender, sweet flower, One cannot help love, but not fear. In sweetness and smiles is your power, But not in your anger, my dear. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.
She is my sister. By Philip Max Raskin. Read for LibriVox.org. By Stefan. She is my sister only. She can't be more. And I am lonely. Lonely as e'er before. Stead sunlight, I am given a twinkling star. Though brighter is my heaven, yet cold and far. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Love by Philip Max Raskin Read for LibriVox.org By Stefan Hand in hand and lip to lip I saw them in a park Hearts aflame and eyes aglow Whispering in the dark Dreaming of my dreams long dead And of my youth long past Musingly I asked my heart How long their love would last Whispering my heart replied Midst earthly stress and strife One hour of bliss one hour of love is worth a loveless life. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Language of Flowers by Philip Max Raskin Read for LibriVox.org By Elaine Conway, England For Love Blushing roses and daisies for truth I oft used to send her in days of my youth We parted, I'm friendless, forsaken and sad And now to my flowers forget-me-nots add End of poem This recording is in the public domain A Woman's Tears by Philip Max Raskin Read for LibriVox.org By Larry Wilson I asked her love She quietly sobbed I did not know the silent answer of her tears Yes or no One day I told her we must part She wept again I knew not what her tears expressed Bliss or pain We parted Many years had gone once more we met, she clasped my hand and cried, Of joy or of regret, I asked her to explain. In tears she turned away, offended, vexed, or grieved, or hurt, I could not say. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. My Bride by Philip Max Raskin Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson I was dreaming last night, someone knocked at my door, and there entered a maid, whom I knew well before. And she said, Oh, my friend, you remember that night when our hearts were as pure as the heaven was bright, when you spoke of love's flame, of its magic and spell, of that marvelous flame that no ocean can quell. And I gave you my hand, and I gave you my heart, And you gave me your oath that we would never part. Many years have since passed, but I trust in you still, But your promise I wait for you to fulfill. You have given your oath, and I trusted its truth, And you now must come back to the bride of your youth. Thus she said in her plea, so impassioned, so true, And my lips whispered, Love, I am coming to you. In the morning I woke, bitter tears did I shed. I remembered my bride, who was long ago dead. 
End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. I Met Her by Philip Max Raskin, read for LibriVox.org by Scott McMullen. I met her in my dream last night, so fair and bright, with youth and love her eyes aglow, as long ago. She smiled, her smile lit in the dark, a golden spark. She sang, how did my soul rejoice to hear her voice. She whispered love, but as she spoke, alas, I woke. My cold, my solitary room was wrapped in gloom. I wondered why should dreams not be from waking free. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Our Secret by Philip Max Raskin Read for LibriVox.org by Scott McMullen Our secret carefully hiding, we walked through mead and glen, in stars and moon confiding, but not in men. We chose but hidden places, we met but people few, and yet their smiling faces proclaimed, they knew. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Omar Khayyam by Philip Max Raskin, read for LibriVox.org by Scott McMullen. Drink of passion's golden cup, think not what comes after. Treat the virtues of the fools with contempt and laughter. Of the virtues preached by men, none than life is greater. Live, my friend, today and now, and be virtuous later. If to you a moment winks, why should you disdain it? Drink the cup of life and love, to the bottom drain it. As the bird, the brook, the wind, play, not knowing sorrow. Live and love, for don't forget, you'll be dead tomorrow. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Before and After by Philip Max Raskin Read for LibriVox.org by Scott McMullen Awaiting our meeting, my glad heart is beating, a tune, she is thine, she is thine. But after her leaving, my sad heart is heaving, a sigh, but in vain did you pine. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. To Deborah by Philip Max Raskin Read for LibriVox.org by Stefan Remember when we met that night You looked so fair, so proud Half jestingly I spoke of love you merely laughed aloud. But whether you did laugh with me, or at me, as it seemed, of love and laughter and of you, I ever since have dreamed. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. To My Love by Philip Max Raskin, read for LibriVox.org by Scott McMullen. I am king of fields and forests, to me belong their hidden priceless treasures of bloom and song. But I'm lonely, dear, I'm lonely, for you I long. Will you share, O oh dearest, my realm with me? I'll bid each bird and flower, each brook and tree, to greet you as my princess, with song and glee. There waits for us a palace that none can move, its floor of silk, of diamonds, its roof above. But I'm lonely, dear, I'm lonely. Oh, come, sweet love. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.
Dark is the Night by Philip Max Raskin. Read for LibriVox.org by Scott McMullen. Dark is the night, not a beam, not a spark. I care not. Her eyes I can see in the dark. Lone in my room, not a word, not a cheer. I care not. With me is my best friend, my dear. Mute is the earth, as the heaven above, I care not. My soul sings of beauty and love. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Come to Me by Philip Max Raskin, read for LibriVox.org by Scott McMullen. Be to me, sweetheart, a friend or a sister. I care no longer whatever thou be. Child of my dreams, I have tried to forget thee. Child of my dreams, I am waiting for thee. Heaven is witness I sought to forget thee. Wandered the earth from its end to its end. Sought the acquaintance of men and of women. Flattered and flirted, but found not a friend. Heaven is witness I sought to forget thee. Sought the acquaintance of meadows and skies. Flattered the moonlight and flirted with flowers. None could so smile as thy lips and thy eyes. Did not I try from my heart to expel thee, Drown in the stream of my song my sad dream? Am I to blame that my song breathes thy spirit? Thou art its music, its beauty, its theme. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Why? by Philip Max Raskin. Read for LibriVox.org by Scott McMullen. One more hour, and I will press her to this throbbing heart of mine. I will kiss her and caress her, and will tell her how I pine. She will listen, she will wonder. I will read it in her glance. Those whom fate has rent asunder, can they be made one by chance? She will reason, life has dangers stronger than the human heart. We in life have met as strangers, and as strangers we must part. I will hear, agree, and ponder. Yes, she's soberer than I. Still this throbbing heart will wonder. Why, O oh dearest, tell me why. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Two. By Philip Max Raskin. Read for LibriVox.org. By Stefan. As my first love seemed my last, so my last, the first did seem. Now, when both are dead and past, I again may love and dream. Changeful is the dreamer's heart, Thus capricious fate has willed, Love comes thither to depart. Dreams are born there to be killed. Maybe I will dream again. Life and love's sweet dream and yet such sad joy and such sweet pain no new love can make forget end of poem this recording is in the public domain you left me by philip max raskin Read for LibriVox.org by Slick You left me. I thought it were best to show no resistance. If love can be proved by a test, that test is but distance. I know we can love though we part. In love and devotion our heart may well speak to a heart far over the ocean. If hearts for each other will fret, no distance will wean them. 
if strange, though together, will yet be oceans between them. So go when God's name, go, my friend, the ocean cross over. But if you shall pine in the end, come back to your lover. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. My Dream by Philip Max Raskin Read for LibriVox.org by Scott McMullen We met in life's sadliest hour of sunset and gloom. Our dream was an autumn-raised flower awaiting its doom to fade ere its bloom. I wish that I never had met her. Alas, it's too late. O oh God, how I longed to forget her and wipe off my fate from memory's slate. I knew that she never would love me. We are too extreme. Then why should a dumb sky above me, a rock and a stream, reflect a dead dream? End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. To My Sweetheart by Philip Max Raskin Read for LibriVox.org by Elaine Conway England Rosy apples, deep green shadows, velvet meads, the grove surrounding, and the laughter of the river, far and wide and loud resounding. Come to me, my angel sweetheart, ripened fruit and boughs will screen us. Me, an apple, thee, an apple, and a stolen kiss between us. Come. The autumn pale blue flowers will embrace thee, will caress thee, me a flower, thee a flower, to my throbbing heart I'll press thee. I have stores of golden legends, they to love me will impel thee, me a legend, thee a legend, and life's secret I will tell thee. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. I knew her by Philip Max Raskin, read for LibriVox.org by Elaine Conway, England. I knew her, I met her, I spoke to her oft. Her face was so calm, and her voice was so soft, her eyes were so lucid so mellow and mild her gait was so modest a child quite a child i secretly treasured a dream in my heart one day we shall speak and perchance never part that dream was my treasure yet each time we met my throbbing heart told me not yet oh not yet one night when the noise of the city was hushed i came out to meet her she saw me and blushed. Her eyes were lit with a soul-kindled glance, and wistfully gazing as though in a trance. Her bosom was heaving, her murmur was strange. I knew not the reason, I guessed not the change. And when I implored her to tell me my fate, she blushingly whispered, Too late, friend, too late. End of poem this recording is in the public domain. My Home to You is Open by Philip Max Raskin Read for LibriVox.org by Phil Schempf My door to you is open, I never bar my gate. Whenever you will call me will never be too late. Come in, I will not ask you the reason why you went with whom you were last evening, and how the hours were spent? Why ask these childish questions? Their answers, well, I know. Life called you to a banquet. You could not help but go. Come straight into my parlor, and have no fear at all. I, too, have heard life calling, and answered to its call. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Stolen Moments by Philip Max Raskin Read for LibriVox.org by Phil Schimpf. 
Take back all the years that life gave me, but leave me the moments I stole. The years, the sad years did enslave me, the moments gave wings to my soul. I remember that stolen half hour, when fragrance and song filled the air. The fields were beginning to flower, my love, like the springtime was fair. The lilacs, alit with their blossom, the lisp of a breeze in the wood. Each heave of my sweetheart's full bosom, the thrill that it sent through my blood. The smile and the glance of my dearest, to passion and joy giving birth. The sky looking bluest and clearest, the paradise men call the earth. The noise in the trees we could trust not, our kisses suppressed and yet loud. Her passionate whispered, you must not. Her glances, half yielding, half proud. Who cared then for wealth or for morals, for treasures below or above, than heaven or diamonds or corals, I valued one moment of love. Of all my years lived, I prize only the moments, the moments I stole. The years were so empty, so lonely, the moments gave wings to my soul. End a poem. This recording is in the public domain. Vain Reproach by Philip Max Raskin, read for LibriVox.org by Scott McMullen. Your fate, dearest child, you deplore, and sigh that I love you no more. Why sigh and reproach me in vain, when you can my love win again? Now push my hand gently away, and say, as you once used to say, You cannot remain with me long. My ma said last night it is wrong. And after you say to me this, be vexed when I ask for a kiss. With laughter run out of the room, and leave me aflame in the gloom. Then come in and smilingly blush. When I say, sweet love, you say, hush! Be sulky and don't let me speak, and don't let my lips touch your cheek. Unpleat your long, gold-waving hair. Stand angry and fairy-like fair, and be just as once you have been, my princess of sweet seventeen. O oh, dearest, I see by your smile, you think me so cruel and vile. I read in your eyes filled with gloom, a lily once faded can't bloom. A beautiful dream will not make one happy when one is awake. But dearest, if this be the truth, why claim the dead love of my youth? End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Two by Philip Max Raskin Read for LibriVox.org By Stefan Despise the blazing day, But greet the single ray That comes across your way And slowly fades away. Its memory endures. And when the night is stark And lifeless, dumb, and dark, A stray note from a lark, A falling star, a spark, Oh, greet them, they are yours. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Burning Love Letters by Philip Max Raskin Read for LibriVox.org by Scott McMullen Love Letters, a bundle I threw into the flames. Silently I witness burning precious names. Here is charming Olga, time, oh, how it flies. Features half forgotten, can't forget her eyes. Here is little Florence, as in days of old, Lips like fresh-plucked cherries, hair a wave of gold. Now comes dainty Queenie, fairy-like a maid. Hours of bliss she gave me, years of tears I paid. 
Here is sweetest gracie, purity and mirth. Tell me not that angels walk not on this earth. All my dreams and phantoms, one by one, come back. All my dreams and phantoms, turning red, then black. Blossoms of the garden of my restless youth, bleached and faded portraits, shadows of life's truth. Now at last comes Annie, from my place I start. Wicked flames, O oh spare it, why, this cost a heart. Spare it, pray, O oh spare it, just a moment, wait. My hand I stretch to save it. Alas, too late, too late. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. I Love You by Philip Max Raskin Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson To Esther What is love? You asked me, child, And in doubt you gazed and smiled. For your heart, your virgin heart, Still is safe from Cupid's dart. But there soon will come a day When, I love you, you will say, When of men beneath the sun One will be your only one. Wondrous things will happen then, which will alter world and men, which will make and chorus sing, bird and breeze and brook and spring, and our gloom-bespotted globe make itself in radiance robe. Make the heavens chant a hymn, like your heart to him, to him, sweetly sad and sadly sweet. They, I love you, will repeat. I love you, I love you, my sweetheart. The earth and the heaven will sing. I love you, I love you, my sweetheart, as lilies loved you in the spring. I love you, I love you, my sweetheart, for you day and night do I long. I love you, I love you, my sweetheart, for love is life's beautiful song. Yes, my child, it may seem strange, but in truth the world will change. Greener will be field and dell, sweeter will the roses smell. Brighter will the heavens shine, and your heart will sweetly pine. Then a sparklet from the skies will be kindled in your eyes. Ah, my child, that very spark lit the world when worlds were dark. When Jehovah made our earth frail like infants after birth, he upon it gazed and smiled, said, I love you to his child. Yet, my darling, do not deem that love's path is one fair dream that your lover's smile or glance will of life make one long trance, that each day and all life long you will hear that magic song, ever soar in rapturous mirth, never heed our careworn earth, that to love means hence to live, all to take and not to give. I love you, I love you, my sweetheart, for comfort and pleasure I crave. I love you, I love you, my sweetheart, that you be my gold-fettered slave. I love you, I love you, my sweetheart. To you from on high I look down. I love you, I love you, my sweetheart. Then I am your kingdom and crown. Nay, I love you does not mean I shall be your mistress queen. You shall serve me night and day, slave and toil, my whims obey. Child, I love you rather means all the crowns of all the queens I shall gladly, gladly give with my chosen one to live. I will bring you comfort, rest, nestling at your faithful breast. Make your home a godly shrine, where your honor will be mine. Be a mother and a wife. Be a friend and a mate in life. Offer you a woman's wealth, beauty, faith, and youth and health. And if need be, rock night long, my sick baby with a song. Child, I love you means to you I shall forever be true. With my lover, husband, friend, I shall go to earth's far end, and a cottage small and dim will a palace be with him. Yea, I love you. Joy and care I with you will ever share. Want or riches, shame or pride, you will find me by your side. Child, I love you means no chain shall our sacred love restrain, as the stars and as the sea, be it pure and be it free. 
be it to the kindling fire that to great deeds shall inspire from this day until life's end you my faithful guide and friend i love you i love you my sweetheart with you i will fearlessly go i love you i love you my sweetheart through sorrow and worry and woe i love you i love you my sweetheart for better or worse you are mine i love you i love you my sweetheart my love is unselfish divine such my darling is true love that makes heaven smile above that makes angels bless the day when i love you you must say end of poem this recording is in the public domain end of love and longing by philip max raskin